Hey guys, and welcome back to part 10 of our uh, Blender tutorial um, for R2D2. And so in the previous tutorial, I showed you a non-destructive way of creating our panel lines on the head area, and then we added in the rest of the panels going around the whole head. Um, now I'm going to add in some more details, but you'll find that there is a little problem, and I'm going to show you how to solve that. So um, what we're going to want to do is drag out some um, details. So we want these two recessed um, squares, for example. So if we come over into edit mode, you'll see I've already um, made, a, made a cut. Actually, I'm going to make another one halfway between those two. And another one here. And grab our faces again and we'll get these extra faces that we just made. Okay, now if I was to extrude those inwards, you'll see it makes a bit of a mess of our mesh. That's because we are making our panel lines using this um, modifiers and you see we've got angle selected. Um, if we were to use weight instead of angle, we will be able to control this a little bit better. At the moment, anything that is over, say, 30 degrees is going to have this bevel to it, and it's causing a little bit of deformation around there because it's trying to create panel lines around this edge here, which we don't want. So uh, we're going to fix that by using the weight instead. So what we're going to do is grab all of these edges that we've marked sharp And then once we've selected these edges, we're going to edit something called the bevel weight. And we're going to make the bevel weight for all of these edges one. That means that the maximum amount of bevel can be applied to these edges. If the bevel weight is zero, then no bevel will be applied. So by selecting these edges that we've marked sharp and then making these edges um, bevel weight 1, the modifiers will then still only be applied to the actual panel edges that we want to be modified and it isn't going to affect these uh, new details that we're going to be cutting into the mesh. So this should fix our deformation problem that we've got with that area that we just extruded inwards. I'll just finish selecting all of these. I won't do the others just for now. Um, I just want to show you the, uh, the basic principle here. So once we've done that, we're going to go to Mesh edges and we'll go to our edge bevel weight and we're going to make this one so you just drag upwards until we have plus one once we've done that you can hit enter and we'll change this to weight instead of angle come back out of edit mode and you'll see that we still now have our panel line details but we've now got a nice straight edge on here so now we can come into edit mode and we can select these edges. Oops. Here and here. Once we've selected those edges, I'm going to go control B to bevel 0.003. Oops, we just want these edges only. Select them again. Control B, 0 0.003. Enter two segments. Okay. 
You see that still created a little bit of deformation here that we don't want to have. So we'll just leave that bevel off for now. Our edges will actually be okay like that. It's so one of the compromises that we have to make for the ease of creating these panel lines. The way we were doing it earlier, it was much easier to make um, these types of adjustments. So there's some trade-offs. Um, it's a little bit quicker for us to model the panel lines, but we're going to lose the, 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 the bevel uh, edges, which will catch some of the light, but it's okay. Um, this panel, anyway, is going to be infilled with some detail. It's only a very small recess. Um, so that's how you overcome this problem with the edges. Now, see, we've lost our panel lines here because we haven't increased the um, the bevel weight of these other edges. So what you're going to have to do in your model is just go around and select all these other edges, um, which are all marked sharp. And then once you've selected all of those, do exactly the same um, to increase the bevel weight. So it's just mesh, edges, edge bevel weight, and drag up until it's plus one. And that's it. So now you should be able to begin cutting out the details in the R2D2 head without having any problems with your um, panel lines. And some of the details though that are in the head, we're gonna create a separate object, it's a bit like what we did in the body, because um, it's actually going to be easier when we come to texture them if some of those edges are a little different. Um, if, if some of those parts are um, different to the main body. Edges, edge bevel weight, and again we make that one. I'm just going to clear that there. It's an edge that shouldn't be sharp. Clear sharp for that. Okay, so I'll leave you to it then, going around, adjusting all those bevel weights, and you can begin looking at the reference images and starting to see which other areas we're going to be cutting out. So we're going to need to cut out some um, circles for these parts, which are going to project out these additional parts. We're going to make us their own separate objects. Like I said, it's easier for texturing later. This part we're going to need to make um, also. We may make that as a separate part as well, yet uh, I haven't quite decided. So thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you in the next part of the R2-D2 tutorial, where we should be able to finish off the details in our head and move on to the legs.